Fire is very, very fast, and that's what catches everybody out. You're talking about from ignition that possibly reaching flashover within a room within minutes. I, I go out and see consultants quite regularly and one of the first things that I, that I kind of open up with is what do you know of Siemens in terms of fire industry? And they pretty much, you know, n no, <laughs> is, the, is the response to that. We've got, you know, more than 160 years of experience within the industry. And, and in actual fact, we made the very first smoke detector. A lot of people don't know that either. A uh, false alarm is when the fire alarm panel goes into alarm, but on investigation it turns out it's not a fire as such. Yeah? It could be somebody's overheated some toast, it could be steam from a shower, it could be somebody's been doing a little bit of welding or uh, something along of that ilk, but it's not a fire. That's a false alarm. Well, it's a huge impact uh, to businesses because as soon as you stop your business, you're losing money. Not only that, you get a lot of fire alarm apathy. So if you've got a system that's going off frequently, then the, you know, your, fire, your fire alarm behaviour and the way that you react to that uh, becomes a little bit sluggish and a little bit slow. So we get really excited about our real clever intelligent detector called Acer, it's our Acer detector. Now how we've come up with that with over 5,000 different fire tests over in Switzerland. So all the materials that you see in this room right now burn differently and generate a unique smoke signature. So all them results and tests have gone into the head in the processor of our acid detector. So when the fumes hit the chamber, um, it's going through all the diagnostic checks and algorithms to hit a match so it knows and it identifies exactly what's causing them fumes. So you know when that detector goes off, it's an actual real life uh, situation, uh, emergency, and it's a real fire. What we're trying to do in Siemens as well is use that technology and then educate our customers how to manage their system. For example, you burn some toast, the detectors, depending on the parameter set you've set them to, were either going to activate immediately, if it's in a hospital say, or if it's in a kitchen and you've set the parameters correct, it's going to give you a longer time to manage it and think, oh, the toaster, and close the system down before actually creating an alarm. But as soon as you get an alarm and go to the fire brigade from a hospital, you're speaking about three uh, appliances turning up on your doorstep. Now the detectors have done their job, they've picked up inverted commas the fire, but does it need three fire engines turning up? And that's down to management of the system. How you manage it has to cut those costs down. You can talk a lot about false alarm resistance and detection capability. Um, but we wanted a, a way of actually showing customers that it was as good as we said. So what we produced is uh, a little uh, smoke box uh, with a couple of detectors in, where we can basically uh, uh, spray, put steam in there, we can spray deodorant at the detectors and prove that we get no false alarms with the AZ detectors, and then ultimately set a, a, a fire uh, going inside and show that it detects fire as well. When you show uh, the scenario where you've got geodrant smoke, which commonly in universities, they have a huge problem with toaster smoke, geodrants, aerosols, smoking as well, where you know it tips out the building because the uh, detector has signalled an alarm, but our ACER detector will not do that in that situation. It's going through all the checks and the test results and it knows and it will only go off into a full alarm uh, when it's confirmed that it's got a fire situation. The detectors can be programmed to react to different scenarios and to put it basically we have a clean environment, a harsh environment and a moderate environment is somewhere in between the two. And a clean environment is your normal office, come hospital ward or something along those lines where you're not expecting any airborne contaminants. If you have a workshop area where there's welding, steam or some other such help going on, you can set the parameter set to the harsher environment. But if you know, have a detector that knows the false alarm and knows what a real alarm is, if that system goes into alarm on you, you know it's a genuine alarm and therefore everybody can react immediately. 
And it's, it's just the satisfaction in doing the job and getting it correct uh, so that if anything does happen, people are going to be safe. <laughs>